Uh, this is Paul Decker, another contributor to The Fortunate Son, and uh, maybe adding some more thoughts about the book and the overall theme of the book now that the book is out. So, Paul, anything? Um, I'd like to say two items and two items only. The first is uh, the book itself sends a message, and I think that message is that America should never enter an armed conflict without fully supporting our troops. To do less sullies those troops and uh, causes great pain in, with the troops. The second is that war, there was two ways to fight it, um, either aggressively or defensively. Um, I've, I've heard statistics that one out of eight, one out of ten uh, troops that went to Vietnam were uh, only one of the eight or one out of the ten were in active combat. But that does not uh, belittle the eight or ten troops that were used as support because without support the grunts out in the field couldn't have done what they did. And that was to win every major battle in that war. But to get back to the ways of fighting that war, infantry companies either fought that war in a defensive manner, waiting for the enemy to come to them, or <clears throat> the aggressive, um, an aggressive manner in which we went out and hunted down the enemy. Uh, with the expertise of uh, Captain Barry McCaffrey and our top, uh, our first sergeant, uh, Bravo Company was a very aggressive combat unit. And in being that way, in being aggressive, uh, we suffered much less uh, KIAs on our side, much less wounded in action on our side. Because if you're fighting a defensive uh, strategy, then that gives the enemy an advantage uh, to play the game they want to, to fight you the way they want to. To be aggressive, then that puts them on the defense, where you're in charge, where you're making the decisions. And that's the way that uh, top trainer and Barry McCaffrey ran that company and because of their leadership uh, most of us survived Vietnam. Paul, thank you very much. You're welcome.